Hello beautiful spirits, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. I'm so happy you stopped by. This is Irish Donna Tarot. Let's jump in for the Virgo love reading. We have spirit speaking to you about a body and soul connection. Something that you've never had before, something with the number five that causes you a little bit of angst. <laughs> Being happy can actually cause angst. All right. Into me, I see spirit is calling on you to look inside your heart, to really assess what it is that makes you happy, what it is that you want to manifest. Spirit of gratitude, be grateful for everything good in your life, and your manifestation will come forth for you. Virgo, the overall energy between you and a significant other is the Six of Cups. Wanting to grow old together, a reconciliation, a reunion, somebody you may have known for many years. There's a lot of loyalty, a lot of trust, a lot of sweetness, Scorpio energy. So when we have Scorpio energy, we know that it's a death and rebirth cycle. And right now, you are not really taking action on anything that is a self-imposed restriction card it is Gemini energy so it speaks to the fact that you are looking within trying to find answers not being um, you know not being impulsive and I I feel like that's a very powerful good energy to have at this time as I look at the reading you are going through an unusual time in your life when you're beginning to question an awfully lot about love. So we see you and a person with whom you have had maybe an on-again, off-again relationship. The death, the rebirth card can be seen as on again, off again. We see that both of you are in this energy of sort of just putting your head in the clouds, being gentle, being happy, being very kind together. The Seven of Cups energy is Pisces energy, and it also indicates it's your current energy. The Two of Coins says that there's no commitment at this time in the relationship. Both of you are juggling your lives, juggling, you know, whatever's going on here. You're in a state of just being quiet, paying attention. It does look like there's a tremendous physical connection between the two of you. Knight of Wands energy is how your person feels about you, the way they see the relationship at this time. The Page of Pentacles says that both of you are very good to each other. You're very solid. You don't over um, promise anything. Your person simply sees the that you are not available to them at this time to give them any more or for them to give you any more. Now, Virgo, here you are in your reading. Beautiful energy moving forward, the Ace of Wands. Your person sees you as a person who's becoming more and more available to them. They feel as though you're happy to work on the relationship. They feel as though they have a lot of enthusiasm from you. Your person in their heart space is feeling the Tower energy. They expect the rug to be pulled out from underneath them. They're in their heart space. They're in this very sort of tumultuous energy, except it's also very calm. I don't see your person being very overreactive. Your person is, you know, staying cool, calm, and collected and accepting things. The Tower card indicates, though, that they may take a very swift action in some way in this relationship when the timing is right. So it does speak to the fact that they do not feel there's a foundation for the relationship at this time, but they're hopeful. They're hoping that the Wheel of Fortune turns in their favor and, and creates an environment in which they can become the Queen of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands is somebody who's passionate, successful, who, somebody who bosses up, somebody who really can claim a victory in love. But to claim a victory in love with you, many of you would have to balance your life up to and including the possibility of a divorce with the death card and the justice card. Right now, we see the mutual energy between the two of you as the emperor card. So there's Aries energy here twice. 
And when we get this Aries energy, you two are action oriented. The two of you tend to be very sort of upbeat, busy people, you know, always doing something interesting in your life. Right now, the moon card speaks to the fact that though both of you are playing chess in this hidden energy between the two of you, you don't really know what the outcome is, but you're playing it cool. You're trying to be strategic. You're keeping yourself in this Pisces energy by choice and it's it's okay the two of you are strong enough to do this from everything that i can see so we see spirit is recommending that you invest in this connection but not yet the two of swords says you don't have to act right now it really just speaks to the fact that the status quo is where you need to be now because you're on this inner journey you know the inner journey of uh seeing what you really need in life you know, on a soul searching mission. And your person has an inherent understanding that that's where you're at, but it is about body and soul for you. You want a body soul connection. So what we see here is there is something ending in the near future for you, Virgo. The energy is that you want a new beginning with your person. And the Ten of Swords energy is putting a fork in anything that does not serve you in regard to what you want in this relationship. In the past, you may feel as though you really hurt your person. But you know, we're going to clarify this and I'm going to go there first. That's the first card I want to clarify because the way I'm reading this, Virgo, is that your person is happy, content, they're okay, they have a good life, that you're dealing with a Queen of Wands energy. Somebody who's very successful, who knows what they want, what they need, how to get it, and somebody who in their own right really is an incredibly positive person. So the Ten of Swords, what is it that has ended that you've put a fork in that is causing a new beginning in this situation and relationship page of wands something that you have seen in a text some sort of betrayal we have the spirit of pentacles okay so virgo i'm seeing that that your person or you and it can be vice versa everybody should know that if you're new to tarot any reading can reverse the energies okay but they're the energies that are present. So we get the Spirit of Pentacles. That is the card of, oh wow, <laughs> Daddy. We have a ghost. Spirit is here helping us. I did not turn the lights on brightly, but they just popped on all of their own to illuminate, illuminate the table much more brightly. But okay, so I'm going to take that as a sign. Thank you, Spirit. I have gratitude for the enlightenment that I am receiving right now in this reading. All right. <laughs> Whoa, there's your tower card. Like, what is going on? Okay, back to the reading. Sorry. I just can't ignore something that's that, that incredibly bright. All right. So I'm on the right track. That's what the enlightenment, the light that's coming through is brighter because at first glance this may look like a betrayal within the relationship and it's not how I'm reading it because how do you have a ten of swords with a fool card so again your person is most likely putting a fork in a relationship with someone that they need to divorce somebody with whom the relationship is dead gone busted broken and the the absolute last straw that broke the camel's back is some sort of betrayal on that person towards your your uh, your person virgo so we see the spirit of pentacles both of you are going into this very secure very stable taurus energy my goodness it's beautiful energy it's um spirit of pentacles so i like it so tell us more about the Spirit of Pentacles before we clarify the rest of the cards, please. Okay. <gasps> Twin Flame. <laughs> this is the only card, the Naked Heart Tarot, that has a number 22. And it is the Twin Flame card. And here we go. We have the Butterfly of Death and Transformation. And the reading started out with Death and Transformation. So I don't know whether to put this card here as your outcome or here because I think it fits there the best. Okay. 
So why are you so, why are both of you so confused at this time? The Ace of Cups. Well, you love each other, but you're not making any decisions. You're both just accepting that you are madly in love and that that's that. You know, you're not worried about it. The Five of Wands, clarifying the Two of Coins. Virgo, your person and you are dealing with a sense of low-key kinds of conflict. The kind of conflict that is all about the fact that you're juggling or your person's juggling. So it's about competition. It's about juggling more than one person or situation. Sometimes juggling happens even after a divorce because there are responsibilities with children that require the primary people, including karmics, to stay in touch. So we do have the nine of coins. One of you is single, ready to mingle. Virgo, that is your energy, but it might be your person, and you really appreciate them. You feel as though they're very good looking, they're attractive, they have a beautiful home, they have a beautiful yard, they've been very successful. They stand in this very strong queen of wands energy, and you hold them in high regard. The star card, that is card of healing, of wishes granted. This is a spiritual card of wish fulfillment in love. Your hopes and dreams for love come true. Both of you are very much solid for each other, even though the circumstances have been um, difficult, challenging. What you have known or not known has not always been clear. So why do we have the the Knight of Wands? The two of you are passionate lovers. Ch <laughs> the Chariot card, honey, I'm home. Turn down the bed sheets. Turn on the sexy music. I'm here. We are having our hopes and dreams coming true in love, my friend. Okay. So that too many cards fell out there, so I'm going to go on to the next. Virgo, Ace of Wands, what action will you take? It looks like you are about to take a significant action towards your person. You are not going to let them go. You are absolutely going to defend this relationship at all costs. You do not want to be left in the cold. But, you know, Virgo, you're still in um, a very lightweight, lighthearted energy. So we have that movement of wands, which is the Knight of Wands again. So your person sees you as someone who's pretty non-committal. The Tower card is here. It speaks to the fact that your person's not feeling very secure in the connection, that they feel as though it has to be rebuilt. Heart of Cups. When the time is right, Wheel of Fortune, the Heart of Cups, your person will give their heart. They will come into this relationship with this beautiful Cancerian Queen energy. Your person may have cancer in their chart, but they will join this relationship with all of their love, with all of their heart on their sleeve. The Devil energy says that they know that there's a toxic time that is has brought down this tower and that there may be a period of time in which the two of you don't have contact. Uh, but your person's hanging in there. The devil card is persistence, obsession. The two of wands says that they have to make a decision about, you know, exactly what they want. The five of cups, it does show that they feel left in the cold. But let's see what else we have here. We have ten of cups. They want the ten of cups with you. This person loves you. They're queen of cups, ten of cups energy, Pisces, Cancer. With a lot of Scorpio, a lot of high emotions. Tell us about the Justice card. Hermit energy, that's you. You are really thinking a lot. For those who have not really stepped into owning the situation with your twin flame yet, it is a journey. It's a process. It's not the flip of a switch. It's not an event. We have the energy of the Hermit card. The Hermit card says that you have all everything that you need. That's you. Your person is relying on you to do the right thing for yourself um, when the time is right, you know, when you're ready. Your person actually, Virgo, does not want you at all if they can't have a good, solid, steady, stable, joyful relationship. Your person's not opting in for any drama. They want love. They want tenderness. They want kindness and caring. They're giving all of those emotions to you while they 
don't wait for you and I say don't wait because your person doesn't think of it as waiting for you they feel as though it's a process I never suggest waiting for anybody it's not natural all that happens is a lot of confusion and misunderstanding live life to the fullest every day all right so what we have here is the emperor card heart of wands queen of wands with the moon okay so your queen of wands is bringing a lot of good energy into the darkened doorway that you feel like you're living in right now virgo you feel as though you have to be very strategic even though you the two of you do not talk about this your person has an innate understanding of what you're doing this queen of wands heart of wands energy aries energy your person knows exactly what they want and spirit of swords says that they have this beautiful ability to detach to um you know just do their life live large wait for things to unfold and they take full accountability for the choices that they make they would never hold you accountable so we see this person is very well developed very successful <gasps> the magician card you might be dealing with a gemini and virgo that's you too this is i have goose pimples this is like a spooky cool reading really in such a beautiful way spirit says invest uh -huh. <laughs> Spirit is telling you, Virgo, to invest in building a foundation with your person for happily ever after and stop ignoring them. You're in a crisis point in terms of Spirit's trying to warn you that no matter how much your person loves you, if you can't build a strong foundation in this relationship, that the tower will fall for the two of you so spirit is saying you've got all the tools your person is very patient do what you need to do and nine of cups you'll be happy if you do what you need to do do the work virgo all right so why do we have why do we have this energy one final card on the new beginning between you and your person Three of Wands, you actually make a choice and follow through. Not that it's surprising, but I couldn't have asked for a nicer card to conclude the reading. Three of Wands, your ship has come in the harbor. You both recognize each other. You are now in Twin Flame Union, the beginnings of it. So leaving it there for you, Virgo. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and tell me what you think of this reading. It was quite complex. All right. Thanks. Have a great one. Bye-bye.